I'm Lina Green and I'm actually, a, I consider myself a global citizen. I was born and raised in Singapore and I currently live in Silicon Valley. I've been involved in telecommunications for many, many years. My real passion is trying to make sure everyone in the world is connected. So I'm delighted that this is an amazing question being asked of me. First of all, I'm really impressed at the question because you not only asked about sustainability, but you also said about how to make it an enjoyable place and what the role of technology is. Um, I think you probably know more than I do <laughs> because you use technology, you're grown up with it. Technology actually, to, for me, the way I look at it, technology helps us to be more sustainable in cities because cities are growing in numbers. We are today supposed to be close to 7 billion people. They're expecting us to be 9 billion people within another 5 to 8 years or something. That's a lot of people. And if there's ways in which we can use technology where people can use resources and live more, efficiently in a city for example do we all really need to have cars uh, if we use public transport or if we need a car um, you know you might have heard of things like zip car you know where I can go and figure out the car is available if I can work from home for example do I really need to be driving my car taking public so there are things and by the way I'm sure it's more enjoyable as well right I would much prefer to work at home I have two children myself so it makes me a bit be able to enjoy my life and not just always work now there's another part of it that is sustainable is that you know as you know the world is getting hotter and you know there's climate control and climate chaos here we need to find ways in which we can manage waste reuse waste we need to be more conscious of stuff and technology plays us a role in helping us first of all be very aware of it but you as a citizen us as citizens we need to demand that governments and the technology companies actually do give us energy efficient technologies, do give us technologies that are recyclable. And please, please, please don't buy into this culture of the latest gadget. Yes, go ahead, buy the latest gadget. But as that company, how are they going to recycle your old gadget? As that company is the new com that going to help the environment. The other thing I'd like to ask you to do is use technology to connect to people. There's so many people in the world today who still haven't even seen a telephone or use a telephone. And these people are dying for information. There are children out there who don't have textbooks. If you have textbooks, use technology. Use your spare time instead of just going on Facebook and attracting your friends. Read a book out loud. Make it available to a kid in a country who maybe has a mobile phone or has a connection in an internet cafe where they can actually enjoy the book with you. And guess what? When you share your life with someone else, life becomes so much more enjoyable for you too. And thank you again for asking me this question. It's been delightful talking to you. <laughs>